how does it work? Is uh, it's simply a water cycle process, eh? Put into a medium like the solar steel. Sun seed um, evaporates the fresh water from the salt water. The water vapor is trapped and condensed as each side of the plastic of the hoop system. The hoop system is a bit slope, eh? but the water just slides down, it just slips down the slope and then you harvest the fresh water at the other hand. Step one is simply making uh, making the hoop. Depending on how big and how long the system you want to make. But for this one, we we were making six footed units. So simply, you make the hoops. Step two, um, so you attach the, the hoop to the base and then tie it up then tape it, simple as that. Step 3 is uh, uh, connecting the ropes together. These ropes will, uh, will, be, will act as the support for the black plastic, which will be the compartments for the salt water intake.
in diameter for the hoop it was two feet two feet in diameter that means we had 2.5 clear plastic all over to overlap that uh, that uh, gap so that we can tape it up and close it Step four, just putting the uh, clear plastic over the system. put the salt water into the unit. The best way to do it is to use it from the other end, which is pointing up, which is uh, higher, higher than the other side. If you fill up the first compartment and it's full, it will just then flow to the other one. And the same thing happens to the other one. So the fresh water is produced at the other end, which is the lower part of the system. You open up the other end, the lower part, and make sure that the, any water is not lost and then just take in your cup and just put it there and put it to a cap. What we did was uh, the students uh, put in 8 gallons of salt water to the salt water in the compartments and after 12 hours of uh, the process is going on we're able to produce uh, 85 ounces of uh, fresh portable drinking water Started off as um, something uh, just to find out um, other measures of sustainability in regards to water security and other initiatives uh, in terms of uh, finding other means to uh, harvest uh, drinking portable drinking water. USP, EU, GCCA, and uh, the coordinator before and the director of uh, USP came up with the idea to find. Uh, other means of uh, harvesting water without using uh, other technologies that we are very reliant on, which we, which which are the rainwater tanks, the plastic tanks that we are using as the rainwater harvesting uh, units in most uh, communities in the Marshalls. Now. For the the GCCA is the uh, Global Climate Change Alliance project funded by HEU and uh, coordinated by every USP campus uh, in, the, in the Pacific. And Marshall Islands was the only one to conduct this uh, demonstration project on solar distil uh, distillation, desalination. And uh, how we did it was um, there were, we had um, six sites for projects. These were namely Ailuk, Namo, um, Layatol, Chenruk, Chenruk, uh, La, uh, Chenruk, Namruk, and Ayrunglawa. And we implemented on four, four of these. 
so I look was the last one to be implemented and then that was the time what that we brought in these uh, experts and we said okay with the consent from the local government and the traditional leaders in the community of Iluk and their leadership, uh, they, we, we agreed to do something new to, to uh, demonstrate this uh, solar uh, technology, solar water technology in, uh, in Iluk. So that's how we came about to implement it in Iluk. And that's the only place we have conducted it so far. And with this project from Prel, we have replicated a uh, training of it at the Life Skills Academy. So, the first unit, the first 12 units were demonstrated on site, on ILUC, and here in Major. And on ILUC, we found out that uh, all the other 10 were not suitable for, uh, for the conditions on the island which is mostly the similar conditions on any drought affected island. But there were two, two units that were, were uh, suitable and appropriate to, uh, to, to install, fabricate and install at the, at the site. And then, yeah, um, we fabricated these two units. It's called, they're called the, uh, the hoop system and the hanging basket system. So we went ahead and uh, installed uh, for all the households on iLook, uh, each household with one unit of solar, this solar steel with the unit, uh, the, the hoop system. So there were 56 uh, installed on iLook. As of now, they are still using them. And I'm uh, from the uh, updates from iLook community, most of them uh, are being uh, repaired and 12 of them are still active as of the moment. The ultimate purpose of this uh, project was to find other means to adapt, to build the resilience of uh, the outer island communities on water and food security. How? Because um, during times of drought, they can assist, they can really assist, they can really produce uh, drinking water from, uh, from salt water in times of drought. That's how it's, it can contribute to the adaptation to the changing climate. And for food security, this water can also be utilized during dry seasons, long dry seasons where there's no water to water the plants. Simple as that. Now I'm in the end go give me a lot of money. You give me a lot of money to the system to the end you want to speak. Yeah, <laughs> 